Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. All praise is due to Allah, and may Allah raise the rank of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and protect his nation from that which he fears for them. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, in today's lesson, we are going to discuss certain matters that are very important in our religion. We'll start by explaining the meaning of Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. When a person says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, it means in the name of Allah, and Allah is the Self whom we worship, the one attributed with Godhood which is the power to create things, that is, to bring things from the state of non-existence into the state of existence. And Allah is Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman means the one who is merciful to the believers and the non-believers in this life, and the one who is merciful to the believers only in the hereafter. Ar-Rahim means the one who is merciful to the believers only in the hereafter. Praise be to Allah. It is highly recommended that we start every religious important matter with Alhamdulillah, as stated by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the hadith that is narrated by Abu Dawood in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, كل أمر ذي بال لا يبدأ بحمد الله فهو أقطع which means every religiously important matter which is not started with praising Allah falls short. And the meaning of Alhamdulillah entails praising Allah for the uncountable endowments he endowed upon us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Hay. Al-Hay means the one who is attributed with life. And the life of Allah is eternal without a beginning and everlasting without an end and does not resemble our life. Allah's life is not a combination of soul, bones and flesh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need anything. He is Al-Qayyum. And Al-Qayyum is a name of Allah. And it means the one who does not need anything. Yet everything else needs him. The scholars also said that Al-Qayyum means the one whose existence does not end. And Allah is the one who manages all the creations. The all-inclusive management of all the creations is an attribute of Allah only. Allah is the one who makes everything the way it is. Some creations may have a certain management over things. However, it is a management which is commensurate with them. In Surah An-Nazi'at, Ayah 5, Allah said, فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ أَمْرَى In this ayah, Allah attributed a proportional management to the angels. The management of Allah includes everything, whereas the management of the angels is restricted to what Allah has willed for them to manage, and it is not similar to the management of Allah. The scholars of Islam said, that every accountable person is obligated to know certain matters of our religion. They pertain to the knowledge of the essentials of the belief, purification and prayer, zakah, fasting and pilgrimage, the sins of the heart and of other parts of the body, and the issue of repentance and its conditions are also important for one to learn. The one who is not obligated to pay zakah is not obligated to learn the details of paying zakah. 
The same ruling applies to learning the details of pilgrimage for the one who is neither able nor planning to perform it, and to learning the details of dealings which one is neither engaged in nor is obligated to perform. The one who absorbs and understands these matters becomes among the people of discrimination. He will be able to discriminate between what is good and what is bad, and between what is valid and what is invalid. What a great blessing this is. Hence, one must pay due attention to this obligatory knowledge in order to have one's deeds accepted. This certain portion of the knowledge of the religion that every accountable person must learn. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, طلب العلم فريض وتن على كل مسلم In this hadith which is related by Al-Bayhaqi, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us, seeking this knowledge is an obligation on every accountable Muslim, whether male or female. This hadith was classified as Hassan by Al-Hafiz Al-Mizzi. Also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, as narrated by Imam Muslim, إِنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ لَتَضَعُ أَجْنِحَتَهَا لِطَالِبِ الْعِلْمِ رِضَمْ بِمَا يَصْنَعُ Which means, the angels lower their wings out of humbleness to the student seeking the knowledge of the religion because of their delight with his deed. To show the importance of acquiring the knowledge about religion, Imam Shafi'i, may Allah raise his rank, said, Seeking the knowledge of the religion is more important than performing the optional prayer. In our lessons, we are going to discuss the fundamentals of our belief, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we all benefit from this knowledge. Ameen.